What's up, Fordable Armory folks? How y'all doing? Today, we're gonna be talking about a new holster from We The People. You've never seen it on the channel before. It's the Freedom Platform Holster. If this is your first time here, click the subscribe button down below so you'll find out when future videos come out. Without further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Real quick before we get into the video, just want to let you know that I am a We The People Elite member. They did send this holster to me for free, and that's so that I could tell you guys about it. They also have really cool shirts like this one right here. Very comfortable, cool designs, got an American flag on there, got a We The People logo on the side there. All sorts of designs, they've got hoodies and mugs and all sorts of stuff. So if you're considering purchasing any of this stuff, please consider using my link down below in the description. Without further ado, let's continue the video. All right, so here it is, the Freedom Platform Modular Holster from We The People. As you can see, I got this for the six hour P320 Compact. It also fits the P250 Compact, as well as the carry model. Um, right now, they have this available for a limited amount of guns because they just introduced it but your more common guns, I believe the Glock 19 and 17, possibly the M&P series of guns. I'm not 100% sure, but if you go to the website, use my affiliate link and enter a code AffordableArmory15, you'll save 15% on this, and it will have the full listing of guns that this holster is available for. So let's open it up. And so here in the top, you've got a little message. I'm not gonna read it all to you. Defend the second, We the People Holsters. Um, it's talking about their company. They are a very patriotic company, um, hence the name We the People. They're based in Las Vegas, and they support the Second Amendment, as well as military and first responders and stuff like that. So that's pretty cool. I really like this company. Um, here is what I want you to take away from this. Look at all the different configurations you got here. It says over 2,500 configurations. What's in the box? So you get a holster, a mag carrier, and a whole bunch of hardware, whole bunch of different clips. You got inside the waistband, outside the waistband. Um, you got single clips. You got a shock cord. So if you want to attach it and make it appendix style, you can do that. Um, and so yeah, you got just a ton of options here for how you want to set this thing up which is really cool and so now let's get into what's in the box and there you go it's all in the baggies that they love to send you so i'm just going to open all these up real quick and show you what you get okay so i've unpackaged everything and you can see everything comes in bags we'll start off here with the main portion this is the holster itself and what you'll see is a whole bunch of holes here. Um, so you've got holes to attach clips there. You've got holes here if you want to use the shock cord to attach it to the spare magazine holder. And then you've got some more holes here if you want to do the single clip. Um, and then it is ambidextrous, which is cool. So all the holes that you see here are on the other side. So you can set it up for right-handed or left-handed carry. And here we have a paddle. So if you want to do outside the waistband paddle style, you can do that. And you can see they've got a whole bunch of different ways that you can mount it for different angles for your draw stroke. And next up, we've got the more traditional style uh, wide inside the waistband clip. They only give you one of these, so I guess you put this one on the holster and then use one of the other style clips for your magazine carrier. But you can see, again, it's got four different places to uh, mount the screws, so you could do it at various angles and ride heights. All right, next up, we've got the single clips, and these are your inside the waistband clips. Uh, they've got four of them included, and again, different ride heights, different angles, pretty cool. So you could put two of these on the holster and two on the mag carrier or however you want to do it. That's pretty cool. Next up, we've got your belt loops. This is cool too. I am probably going to use these because I have several inside the waistband holsters. I only have a couple outside the waistband holsters. So I'm thinking I'm gonna set up the holster and the mag carrier as outside the waistband. I do like to carry that way quite a bit. And um, we'll see how that works. I will set it up other ways just so you guys can see, but I'm, I'm thinking this is the direction that I'm going with this. 
Now this bag has all of your hardware. You can see you got a whole bunch of screws, a whole bunch of washers, some more screws, the uh, posts, and uh, some more washers. So this is what you're gonna use to put it all together. Next up, we've got our shock cord. This is used to rig up the appendix carry configuration. If you want to tie your holster to the spare mag carrier and make it a single unit, kind of like your uh, sidecar appendix rig. Um, so it's cool that you can do that. And then here is the spare mag carrier. Again, you've got holes on either side, as well as a spot if you want to put a clip there. And it is ambidextrous. All the holes are on both sides, so that's pretty cool. Now that we got that out of the way, I'm gonna go set it up uh, in a couple of different configurations and I'll show you each of those. All right, so here is the Freedom Holster set up in an appendix configuration. All right, you can see I've got the holster here and I've got the um, mag carrier over here and they're tied together with this little bungee cord. This was really easy to do. Mount your clips and then um, run your bungee cord through there, run it through this little thing, tie a knot and then it stays in place. And then you can see you've got a little bit of flex there so that it kind of flexes to the shape of your body. That's really nice. Um, again, you can see all the other mounting options if you wanted to do clip there or there or move this clip down here, move this clip up here, all sorts of options. Um, this is the configuration that worked best for me. Now, what I want to point out is look at the angle of those clips. So this is actually going to sit on your body like that. It's kind of working about like what a claw would do. So because of that steep angle there, it sits like that on your body, which angles the gun outward and puts the gun uh, against your body, which is going to help in concealment. That's kind of cool. I've never really seen that before with clips where they're just angled outward like that. Usually they're straight up and down. So that's a pretty neat design. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this on. I will show you. Gun is unloaded, all right? Working with an empty gun. Empty magazine, put that in there, and I'll show you the retention. There you go. You should hear it click in place. Not going anywhere. That sucker is locked in. That is what you want, all right? That's good retention. It is adjustable via this screw here, so if you did want to tighten it down, uh, you could tighten this screw right here, and that would tighten your retention. Uh, if it's too tight and you can't draw it out, then you can loosen it the same way. All right, and then you take your magazine here, and you're gonna stick it down in like so. Now, one thing I will say before I put this on, um, I think this sits a little low. I would like it to sit higher and maybe angled outward. Uh, now, you could make it sit higher by adjusting where these holes are and how they line up. So you can see on the back side, I've got them lined up one for one. Um, if you put it a little higher then, and then strung it, um, it might work out a little bit better because this is going to sit really low in the pants. If you look at where that clip is and where that is currently, it's going to sit a little low, and I'm not necessarily a fan of that. But anyway, I'm going to put this on real quick and show you what that looks like, and then we'll move on to the next configuration. All right, so I'm wearing the holster now in the appendix configuration. I'll go ahead and tell you I did adjust the height of the mag carrier. Uh, just untied the bungee cord and then moved it up one hole and then retied the bungee cord. Uh, didn't take that long at all, maybe five minutes of work, and it was adjusted. And so now, here it is on me, and I am wearing a dark shirt, so... Um, I mean, you can kind of see the outlines of it. If you're really looking hard, most people really wouldn't see it. And then I'll just show you that that's what it looks like right there. So you can see, I mean, it is sitting pretty good. It's not that bad. Um, I think this is pretty good. And then, so if I wanted to draw, I could pull up and draw out like that. All right. Spare magazine, same thing, reach in and grab it. And that works out pretty well. So if you're looking for a quality holster and you wanna run it in the appendix configuration, uh, this will work and it works pretty well, except for, like I said, the fact that I want the magazine to be pointed outward and sit just a little bit higher. Okay, so now you can see I have it in an outside the waistband setup. And so I have separated the two pieces and put the outside the waistband clips on there and you run your belt through it like so. I will show it on my body here in just a second, but first I wanted to address a few concerns. Um, first of all, let's take the gun out, show you that it is clear, all right? 
Lock the slide to the rear, remove the magazine, nothing in the mag, nothing in the gun. All right. So, as you can see, this moves. All right. That really bugs me. Um, and if you look, you can see there's a second hole on these clips, but it does not line up with the holes. So no matter where you put these clips, um, there is no way to use that second hole. And I've got these screws as tight as they will go. I mean, they are wrenched down all the way and these clips move. So that is a concern for me. I would really like it if you could use both of those holes so that it stays in place. All right, and then same thing on the mag carrier here. You can see that they move um, and the holes do not line up. So there's no way for me to use both of those holes and really secure this down. And so these clips move freely and uh, I just I'm not a fan of that having said that that's really my only complaint about this setup and so let's go ahead and put it on and show you what it looks like all right so now I've got it set up in an outside the waistband configuration so I'll go ahead and show you there is the gun sitting on my waist and uh, I like this much better now if I go a little close you can see kind of what that looks like I'll turn to the side there and you can see the belt running through the loops on either side and it feels pretty good I mean that is how I would typically carry most of the time anyway I like strong side outside the waistband um, and then again on this side here I've got the mag carrier same thing run it through both of the loops and it sits really nice so that's pretty good and then you can see if I want to draw nice and easy All right. do it again Draw, drop mag, reload, all right, and you're back into action. So, so there you go. There's a couple of different configurations for the We The People Freedom Platform holster. So what are my thoughts on the We The People Freedom Platform holster? Well, first up, if you're looking for a holster that you can run in several different configurations, this is a good solution because you can run it outside the waistband, inside the waistband, paddle style, appendix, right-handed, left-handed, with a mag carrier, without a mag carrier, you can run it as a sidecar configuration. All sorts of options available for this one holster. That's pretty cool. Some more points. It does have retention, it is adjustable, and there are so many different ways that you can attach the clips to this thing. Uh, you can really customize it to your own liking. Now, a couple of cons. I did mention these already as I showed you the different setups. One is I would like for in the appendix configuration if the magazine stuck out at an angle a little bit and rode a little bit higher. The other one is on the outside the waistband setup, the holes not lining up. I really want to be able to use both of those holes to really secure the belt loops in place. Aside from that, it does still work and I think this is a really great option. Option. Having said that, I am a We The People Elite member and it helps out the channel if you use my link. So click the link down below to go to my affiliates page and you will see a link to We The People. And there's also a discount code, Affordable Armory 15, should save you a little bit of money on your purchase. As always, head over to affordable-armory.com. That's where the blog lives. That's where our social media links are. That's where our affiliate links are. So you can save yourself some money on something you were gonna buy anyway. And we have stuff like hats, t-shirts and stuff. So thanks for watching guys and we'll see you next time.